everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in and joining me for Breaking News. I received notification from the Cydonia Institute earlier today that they've published the Raptor Zone Complex Journal, the one that uh, was written and researched by George J. Haas from the Cydonia Institute, also from the Society for Planetary SETI Research, or SPSR. Uh, this is it, folks, the Cydonia Institute Field Journal, Volume 23 and Number 1. These are the images that I originally posted in my Cydonia 2.0 blog and video. So let's have a brief look at these, this massive pyramid and uh, the capstones missing over there. Each side of this pyramid is approximately 2.5 kilometers long. We also have uh, the strange structure. I originally called it a pistol, for a better word. Didn't know what else to make of this. In the meantime, uh, George has done some research, and uh, he strongly believes this might be a depiction of a raptor bird. And uh, there's the beak over there. And then uh, the strange pyramidal feature. Each side is about 1.2 kilometers in length and uh, it has this strange circular depression on it, like it's collapsed or maybe even, uh, who knows, maybe something was removed. Maybe there was a circular object over there. This journal was also accepted by Dr. John Brandenburg who added this site to his dead civilization hypothesis that uh, presents strong evidence for a widespread dead humanoid civilization on Mars. You'll find the journal over at the Sardonia Institute website and I'll include a link to the website in the video description below. George is also currently writing a paper on this uh, strange face that I found on Mars as well. I called it the face of Chewbacca because of the strange furry look to it. Each side is about three and a half kilometers long and it's also got this uh, symmetrical look to it like the face in Sidonia. And also that strange uh, three-sided pyramidal feature as well. Maybe it's a huge block that's buried there, who knows. And there it is up close and it's approximately 3.3 kilometers long. The paper that George is busy with is titled The Chewbacca Outpost. So let's go ahead and quickly review the journal I'm not going to cover it in depth. Uh, I do encourage you to please download the PDF. I'll include the link for you in the description below. Uh, George starts with explaining a bit about this region in which I discovered these anomalies, Elysium Planitia, and this is also where NASA landed the InSight lander, and we find uh, the Curiosity rover also close by. A very intriguing area of Mars and uh, yeah George acknowledges uh, my work. Thank you so much uh, George, I do appreciate the acknowledgement. I've been working quite hard and doing a lot of research on Mars. I appreciate the shout out in your journal. So uh, he goes into quite a bit of depth, lots of uh, geometry, uh, some similar comparisons to structures and artifacts found here on Earth. So uh, yeah, I've long speculated uh, that there might have been an Egyptian or Mayan type of 
civilization on Mars, possibly two or three civilizations or cultures. Also done a video on uh, many pyramids that I found on Mars, what I speculate are pyramids. George has uh, done a lot of research. Please do support his work by reading the paper. He's also got a forum that uh, he created for these anomalies. I include the link to that in the description as well. And uh, there's the geometry. Something similar was done in Sardinia. And there uh, that is the Sardinia geometry. Uh, George also recommends that both NASA and the ESA imaging teams direct their current orbiting spacecraft to acquire additional images of these anomalous surface features. New images should be acquired at different times of day and seasons under various sun angles for further analysis. If these formations are found to be consistent under higher resolution imagery, I would encourage the pursuit of a robotic ground truth expedition and recommend this site be a prime candidate for a human mission to study the potential existence of archaeological artifacts on Mars. And uh, George included my original blog post URL in the footnotes. Thanks a lot, uh, George. I do appreciate it. So that's it, guys and girls. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate your support. Let's have a chat in the comments below. This is outstanding news, and I thought I'd bring it to you as and when it broke. So do stay tuned for part two of my current series about the obelisks, disks, and megaliths. Um, I should be publishing that to YouTube within the next couple of days. Do take care and be safe. South Africa is currently under lockdown. Uh, we're all home for the next 21 days. Fortunately, I've got remote access to my office, so at least I can work from home. Anyways, guys and girls, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.